Now uh, to the members of the cast, crew and invited guests are making their way to the Embassy Theatre. Some of the movie's main players we spoke to, Joanna Hunkin Scott, James Nesbitt on the red carpet. Hi, Joanna. That's right, Wendy. Good evening, everyone. I am here with James Nesbitt, one of the dwarfs, one of the... There's quite a few of you. Yeah, there's 13, but I mean, I, only really, I would only worry about me, really. You're clearly the most important and the best looking. Yeah. Really. Tell me, what, what do you make of this? You must have been to a few film premieres in your, in your time. Yeah, well, there's nothing like this, obviously. I mean, but, you know, it's extraordinary, but it's also, I'm not that surprised because I spent two years in this country, in this city, and it's just the warmest, best, most incredible place with incredible people. And I think they're here. Genuinely, I think people are coming out consciously and also subconsciously to thank Peter Jackson for what he's done for the country. And Peter's a proud Kiwi. That's right. And Peter Jackson has had a long and quite difficult road to get here. We uh, did catch up with him earlier today and here's what he had to say. It's a story of friendship, adventure and heroes. So this is your purpose, to enter the mountain. But for Sir Peter Jackson, making The Hobbit's been a challenging journey, suffering repeated delays and becoming the subject of intense media scrutiny. Today, he was adamant it hadn't spoiled the experience. You know, at the end of the day, we've made a movie that we're extremely proud of, and uh, so many people have worked for so long on the film that I think it'll take a little bit more than that to, to, uh, to spoil the event. And despite the difficulties, the director loved his return to Middle Earth. It was a dream. It was just a fantastic. It was almost like we got all the pain out of the way and, and then we just uh, enjoyed the process of making the film. A process that couldn't begin until the government stepped in, cutting a deal worth tens of millions of dollars with Warner Brothers to keep the shoot in New Zealand. Just to back that point up, Film New Zealand launched these nationwide ads today, celebrating the production and its contribution to the local economy, including more than $9 million spent on construction materials and 16,000 days' work for local actors. 1,800 rental cars were hired and $380,000 was spent on coffee alone. Then, of course, there's the tourism factor, which these A-listers say Kiwis should claim with pride. So it's, it's like um, people coming to Australia to see, uh, you know, as rock. Or, but they, they might come for that reason, but then they'll experience the sophistication and depth and diversity of the country. Yeah. And I think it's a great thing to be, to be proud of, and I think that these films are an extension of that. An extension that should last another two years, with parts two and three of The Hobbit still to come.